Well, hello there. Um, my name is Gabe Osley, and it's nice to see you. Um, I'm one of the artists in residence here at UWA, and also sometimes Yuchang. And uh, I'm happy to have a chance here to talk with you as I float above these buildings. Um, I'm just sitting here, actually, not really floating. But, uh, you know, it's kind of cool. I'm in Shanghai. Um, where are you? Are you sitting trapped inside like I am? Uh, maybe you are. Um, I know that my family and I have been inside a lot the last couple weeks during this uh, coronavirus. And, you know, it can be scary, but it can be fun too. And so I guess what I wanted to do today is just one, talk about who I am, because a lot of times um, I don't get a chance to talk to everybody. So this is a good way to do that. So maybe uh, one of the first things we can do is just talk about... What are your qualifications? Ah, well, I tend to truly are. I'm a graduate of the Harvard Business School. I travel quite extensively. I looked through the Black Plague and I had a pretty good time drawing that. I've seen The Exorcist about 167 times and it keeps getting funnier every single time I see it. Where do I come from? What am I doing here? These are good questions. Um, I'm trying to figure those out myself. Um, I guess let's start with what drives me. I am an artist, a cartoonist, a comic book artist, an animator, a filmmaker, a writer, a painter, sculptor. I love every kind of art. Probably what drives me the most is drawing. Um, I really uh, just love drawing. I think it's a great way to communicate. It's a great stress reliever and hopefully it brings some smiles and maybe, you know, gives you a chance to look at the world a different way. I know that a lot of my favorite artists are people that just love drawing. So that's where I start. What I would love to do is show you some of the stuff that I'm working on right now. A lot of the, uh, the things that I'm doing are, um, you know, ways to deal with this stupid coronavirus. Uh, we want it to go away. So where am I from? Where am I from? I'm from the United States. Uh, born in Minnesota. Went to school in Savannah, Georgia. Uh, studied comic books, sequential art, animation, storyboarding. And then I went to New York City for a little while. And I worked at an illustration agency there for children's books. And that was a lot of fun, uh, but it didn't give me very much freedom. And what I love to do is draw my own stories, create my own characters, things like that. So when Yu Chung came along and they said, hey, we're looking for artists to do some things that will um, inspire our students and maybe make the campuses a little bit more exciting because we have all these new campuses and a lot of new walls and a lot of blank walls. So um, that's when I went to Hong Kong. I went to Hong Kong around uh, 2005 and then I was there until 2014. So it was a long time. Uh, and then we went back to the US. So my wife and I um, both are artists in residence and she also went to Savannah, Georgia, went to New York City, and then went to Hong Kong. And she's a painter. Well, she's making video right now. So you can just watch hers uh, and she will tell you everything that you need to know about her. But let's get back to me, what's important here. What I want to do is talk about Sherlock Holmes and you know what maybe I'll title this video is deductive drawing right because what this series is about it's an illustration series four novels 56 short stories and when I started thinking about this series one I like Sherlock Holmes but I thought this would be a good place to do some exploring with drawing uh, because, you know, he's been around for a hundred years. Almost everybody in every country knows Sherlock Holmes or knows of him. That's kind of a good way uh, to show people my style or my perspective. 
So when I'm going through this and I'm showing you kind of what I'm working on, maybe you can be thinking about what your favorite stories are and your perspective and your style. This might be a way for you to have some fun and to kind of explore how you see things. What I start with and when I started thinking about this was the goals, right? What do I want to do? So I was thinking right off the bat, I want to do 12 illustrations, right? I'd love to do a comic book too at some point, but that, you know, usually comics can take a long time, lots of planning. You might not see the finished product for months, maybe even years sometimes, depending on how long they are. But what I wanted to do with this, I thought, you know, if I can do 12 illustrations, I can probably do that in a couple months or less even, and especially now when the coronavirus is going on. Uh, so 12, so I, I, I hit on the number 12. Why 12? Well, there are 12 months in a year. So if I did 12 illustrations, that could be a calendar. So now I'm thinking, okay, product. That's where I started. And I wrote down the 12 stories that I wanted to work on. You might be asking yourself, but Gabe, Sherlock Holmes, why Sherlock Holmes, right? And I wasn't even sure at first either until I started working on it. And then I realized, I think, why has this character been around for over a hundred years? And many, many adaptations, you know? So many TV shows, movies, comics, books, um, goes on, board games, right? It goes on and on and on. And why does that connect so much to people? And I started thinking about it. And I thought, well, for me, I think what I like about Sherlock Holmes is his whole thing is taking chaos and making order out of chaos. And then take that a step further, that's, that's what we do as artists or creators, right? We, we take a lot of information and we boil it down into some kind of order. And that's what connects with people. So there's a bigger thing going on here. And, I, and the more I thought about it, the more I thought, well, you know, this whole situation I'm in right now and that we're in, right? Uh, we're, we're in a chaotic situation. And so we're looking, we're hungry for those things that will, will show us order or show us how to make order out of this chaos. And so, you know, that's Sherlock Holmes. Also, Sherlock Holmes is pretty cool. My name is Sherlock Holmes. It is my business to know what other people don't know. Okay, well, that's probably enough from me right now. One thing that I'd like to, you to think about uh, before the next video, think about your favorite stories and then think about this process, okay? This is what I'm gonna use and I'm gonna get way more into this in the next video. But first, what's your goals, right? What story is it gonna be? So let's say, let's example, Harry Potter, okay? I'm gonna do a Harry Potter series, a series of all of the book covers, okay? So what is that, eight? I think that's eight. And so that's my goal, okay? Goals. Second, you're gonna start researching. Uh, we're gonna get a lot more into that next phase. Uh, then you're gonna gather reference, you're gonna draw, you're gonna ink it, and you're gonna color it, and then you're gonna release it. So we're gonna, we're gonna go through each one of those, but for right now, until we see each other again, just start thinking about what do you wanna work on? What's your goals? I'm excited to see what that is. Leave some comments uh, underneath this video or you know, however I'm gonna publish this, I'd love to uh, talk with you. Just let's start jamming ideas. I uh, hope that you have a good time being inside. Uh, keep wearing your masks, stay safe, uh, wash your hands with soap and water, and um, we'll talk to you very soon, all right? Bye-bye.